So the print is finished on the test lids. This is a standard mason jar lid. And it appears to be fits. It's a little tight, which is not bad. This is a wide mouth mason jar lid uh, ring replacement. So you'd use a regular lid for canning and then you could use this in place of the metal rings. Uh, but you could also modify the model so it's got a solid top. And this one is easy peasy. Now the third one that I tested was called an organic jam jar lid. And you can see that it doesn't have threads like the mason jar lid. Um, but the ironic thing is the first glass jar that I picked up, which is for sauerkraut from Aldi, well, not sauerkraut, red cabbage, um, it fits. So for lids, non-standard lids, and you can see how the thread just angles down, angles down, angles down, angles down. This fit nice and neat. I test, uh, printed these at a PLA uh, just for test fitting, and now as we need them, we'll print them in other materials. I'm looking at polycarbonate uh, for its resiliency, its durability, impact resistance, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can print it in clear, which would be kind of gross in my wife's opinion. But they also have like black, red, blue, and white. So we may do red just to indicate that there are lids. Anyway, test print. We're going to put these in action and see how they perform. But so far, uh, we're pleased with the results. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Too many hobbies, not enough time. It's a theme song, y'all.